Monet is a tool for prototyping continuous interactions by demonstration. Here we will illustrate this tool by several examples. We here give an example of prototyping an interface for controlling room temperature. A designer wants a user to be able to set a temperature by dragging the needle of a dial. To do so, a designer first designs a dial in Monet by drawing it. The designer then selects the strokes representing the needle. This creates a continuous widget. Its thumbnail is shown in the left panel. The blue cursor is called the user cursor, representing the end user's pointing device, such as a mouse or a pen. A designer drags the user cursor to the tip of the needle to indicate a typical place where an end user will interact with the needle. Then a designer clicks the sample button to make a sample of the needle, which indicates the needle should be in this geometric configuration while the user's input is at the position of the user cursor. Next, the designer drags the needle to another position, rotates it, and takes another sample. With these two samples, a designer goes to interaction mode and interacts with the needle to test the interaction. It is not necessary to drag the needle from the tip of the needle. However, the closer the user's cursor is to the tip, the better effect the system can give. Selecting the debug checkbox will show the samples of a widget. By adding more samples, the interaction can be refined to better follow the user's input. Then the designer adds three states, comfortable, cold, and hot. For each of the three states, the designer drags the dial needle to a position corresponding to a state and adds an example of that state. Every time the needle is moved, the system automatically identifies the state of the widget. If the identified state is incorrect, a designer can correct it by selecting the correct state and add the misclassified example to that state. This will let the system refine the classification by retraining itself based on new examples. Once finishing prototyping the dial, a designer embeds the dial into a storyboard page. A storyboard page represents a screen of visual output. The designer wants the prototype to automatically remind users when a target temperature is too high or too low. To do so, the designer adds two feedback pages and then draws two links from the dial page to these new pages. A link represents a transition between pages. Then the designer associates the two states of the dial, i.e. hot and cold, with the two links respectively. Now the designer tests out this design. A user can interact with the needle continuously. When the needle is set in the hot zone, the prototype automatically shows the too hot feedback page. When the needle is dropped at a cold zone, the cold page will be displayed. Here we show a few more examples. A designer first draws a vertical slider. Next, the designer selects the elevator and creates two samples of its position. With the two samples, the elevator can be dragged vertically. Then the designer adds a spring. Based on the behaviors of individual widgets, the designer clicks the toggle button Link Widgets to start demonstrating a compound behavior. The designer rotates the dial needle and stretches the spring, drags the slider, then the designer finishes demonstrating a compound behavior by deselecting the Link Widgets button. Now, when a designer interacts with any of these three widgets, the other two will respond accordingly. With two samples, the box can be dragged along the direction of the two samples. With three samples, the box can be dragged freely on the canvas. With these two samples, the box can be scaled with a fixed aspect ratio. With these three samples, the box can be scaled freely. Semantic zooming can be easily prototyped in Monet. In this example, a simplified view and a detailed view of content are shown on two different pages representing two zoom levels. The transition between the two pages is triggered by the state of the vertical slider. On each page, the slider controls a different view via compound behaviors. A vertical scroll bar as well as the scrollable content it controls, can be prototyped easily. 
a scroll bar and a content are created as two continuous widgets associated for a compound behavior. Then a designer restricts the visible region to the scroll bar's height by resizing the gray box. When the two widgets are embedded in a storyboard page, only the selected region is visible. In addition to user interface widgets, Monet allows creating some interesting examples which could be useful for demonstrational purposes. The two wheels and the body of a car are prototyped as three continuous widgets and they are linked to perform a compound behavior. The wheels rotate and translate when the car moves forward or backward. A designer can constrain the movement of an object to a path. In interaction mode, the car moves along a path and rotates to keep itself oriented along the path. Here is a simulation of the sign function. This example uses both movement path and compound behaviors. Monet allows designers to prototype a useful subset of continuous interactions, which greatly expands the visual language for informal prototyping and enables better support for early stage UI design.